Yo, what's up guys? AFC Neo here and welcome to a new video. This time we're on, we're on Pokemon Showdown. Uh, doing a showdown live for you guys. Um, I'm going to be using the same team as in the love, last live recording. Uh, we started off a bit lower on the ladder. Um, now we are at... 14.55. So let's see if we can get this account to the 1500s. That's, that's where I want this account to be. Um, because I have one account, I have one account above 1900, one account above 1800, and then I have two accounts above 1700. And I don't have an account, uh, uh, around 15, 1600 where I want an account to have. So I can uh, do some more recordings, but yeah, we're gonna find a battle. By the way, guys, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And let's see what kind of battle we'll get this time. So we're playing against Sun. I think I s I've seen this Sun team. I don't know if Gem that was playing this. But, yeah. Team, so. It's gonna be difficult for me. Um dealing with the scovillian a lot of toxic spikes on this team he has a hatterene too so that's gonna be a bit annoying i do like mo i don't have i actually don't have hatterene on this team <laughs> i do like my champ out though this game uh, but maybe i'm just gonna I'm gonna lead up with great tusk care dissipating either roaring moon or torkoal one of those two uh, to lead off and I'm gonna knock off turn one as Hatterene comes in on a balloon what whatever bro <laughs> he's using this on Sun so I can definitely see um, I can definitely see what's the name The fire type, mystical fire, mystical fire coming my way. Well, Corona seems like a pretty decent pivot then. He just went for sidekick. Interesting. Gonna uh, hit him up with the fairy dance. I don't think I think it's a low drawback play because I still get the fairy dance damage on this. We just go Pex. The U-turns, Liberal, and Great Dusk ends up coming in, which gets an attack boost. I can Baneful Bunker, but I don't know if he... I'm gonna go Corviknight anyway. Because he goes for a knockoff. So I could have used Baneful Bunker. Um, he has this... A roost there. You turn now. I go great dusk. Assuming he's gonna get up his rocks there. And then we're just gonna. He might be yawning me. I'm still gonna spin. He goes for Lava Bloom. He gets the burn, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna Stealth Rock here. I'm gonna go into Goldengo. Uh, he cannot burn my Goldengo, so. Yeah. Uh. Choose to terrestrialize him and go for the recover. He doesn't sw switch into me. Yeah, a bit of a tough situation. Gonna U turn. That burn is really annoying. I'm gonna go into Corviknight. Fuck's that he knocked me off. 
could have used Baneful Bunker against him, but I was afraid of him bulking up or something. Which could have been possible too. But I'll be able to U-turn here as he taunts me. And he's gonna... Okay, he's gonna bring me down into Genpao here. I am Choice Bandit. And I'm just gonna fire off a Crunch. As if Torkoal comes in. Oh, he goes Heather Ring. This is going to be a 2 hit KO. 1 hit KO. I'm choice. I keep forgetting now. I'm choice bandit. I'm so used to having it. Uh, cho He's probably going to spin here. I'm going to have Defog, unfortunately. Go Cinderace. And go Pex. U turns. So this is on both Pokemon are on boots. And he's toxic as he brings in the Great Tusk. Awesome. So he probably doesn't have Rapid Spin on. Um, he probably doesn't have Rapid Spin on Torkoal. That goes for a knockoff anyway, okay? I'm gonna use my Great Dust Care. I get the defense boost, so in return I can Rapid Spin. Yeah, Storko came in on Rock, so that's awesome. He goes for Close Combat. He knocks me out, actually. Which is a bit unfortunate. That's definitely unfortunate, but I go Chen Pao here. And I think I just click Ice Spinner. That's a bit of a tough game. I'm gonna lie. But having Great Dust burnt. Gonna suck. He, he sex Roaring Moon. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. This is betting Torkoal coming in there. But yeah, my Stealth Rock is not going to help against Torkoal, uh, against Cinderace anyway, and Great Tusk is already resisting my... I actually go Scovillian. Um, I just need to remove... I just need to wait till uh, the sun ends and then I can just revenge kill him. Corvin Light can still be useful. I don't need Volcarona, so I'm just gonna sec him. And then we can go Chen Pao again. Go for the Ice Spinner. Covillian doesn't get any priority moves, right? I don't think so. That's for this. So I Ice Spinner, which should be a 2 hit KO. Pavilion takes super effective damage from rocks as well. Um, I'm faster than Cinderace. I don't know if he has Sucker Punch though. Wait, what? Why is he bringing in this? Terra Water, okay. I mean, cool and all. Still think I'm gonna win with. Um, I might actually lose. Oh, I forgot to forgot about the terrestrialization. But he's still poisoned, so. In that sense, um, I think we will be okay. I, I can just spam Haze against Covillian. Gotta wait till the sun ends. I spam Haze till the sun ends. 
Plus he's badly poisoned, so... <laughs> Gotta take a stall. Faithful Bunker here, because he cannot... That way he cannot Giga Drain. He went for Solar Beam, so he's gonna die. Luxapex wins against Ace. And I can go into... Corvair. Goes for close combat. It's not gonna be enough. I think we always... Uh, no. Gonna roost. Doesn't really matter though, because... He's gonna take this poison damage, and I just keep Goldengo as a second to him, so I can just Baneful Bunker. Because he's gonna take uh, enough damage on the next poison turn, and now I just get to click Surf against him. And he decides to forfeit. Good shit, Toxapex ends up winning. He kind of got me with the terrestrialization because he didn't terrestrialize this game yet. Um, but overall, I think we played uh, okay. Um, that was at the game. And let's see what we face here. Isak GR 2006. Mm, dead Reloom, definitely annoying. We do have Corviknight plus Volk. But I don't know if it's Rock Dome. They usually carry Bulldoze, though. Um, against Skeledurge, I need to keep Toxapex alive. Um, against Dondozo, we, we gotta keep Toxapex alive as well to Haze. I'm a bit worried about um, the Chen Pao Dome. But we do have our answers. I'm gonna lead up with Corviknight in this one. As it leads up with Tinkaton, which is definitely not ideal for us. Um, Thunder, goes for Thunder Wave. That's actually okay. That's okay. Um, can be worse, of course. I get in Great Dusk, and I'm gonna start clicking Knockoff against him, because that's his only form of recovery. He decides to go Dondozo, which is fine, and knock off his boots. Amazing. Go for Rocks there. Break a potential sash on Berloom. Um, I don't see a rapid spin on his, on his team either. But Corviknight being paralyzed is not the worst. It's, it can suck against Champao though. Champao decides to source dance in my face. I have Volcarona alive as well. 1527. Um, I, this, this game might put me into the 1500s. Just see. I rock in his face as he goes for a yawn. Interesting. Interesting, sir. I'm going to go into Pex there. Goes for a wave crash. I don't want to click Toxic here, but he, I'm, I can definitely see him go back into Tinkaton. I'm going to go into uh, Great Tusk again. As he does indeed go into Tinkaton. Fearing a Toxic. And um, I'm just going to Earthquake here. Force this guy to click uh, Rest as well. Later on. I'm going to go into Corp here. Because I can U-turn on the next turn. As he goes Sting Loop, please get off this U-turn. Damn! It sucks. That really sucks. How much did I do with Earthquake last time? 19. But then he's, he's, he's going to die. He's a knockoff there. As he goes Skeletor, so I knock off his boots as well. Amazing. And he might go for a Will-O-Wisp, or he might terrestrialize this into a fairy type and goes for a Will-O-Wisp. I'm gonna go into Pex here. 
I could have killed him. He's crazy for making that play. Still though. Poison Mao next time he comes in on rocks. And I can make a pretty safe play. Uh, by going into my Corviknight there. And then U-turn. Into... Um, because that way I don't have to use the leftovers. I lose the leftovers. I don't really need this. If I got if I got off my um okay. so this I'm gonna spin first. If he knocks me off, it's fine. I'm definitely gonna spin first. Cause I, I I just kill him on the next turn after. I'm getting my leftovers recovery here. I'm surprised that he didn't terrestrialize last time. I guess I could have Earthquake, but if Berloon came in for some reason. But I guess if he terrestrializes now, that's fine too. Then he cannot terrestrialize Chen Pao. And then I can Rapid Spin on the next turn as well. I just sex this up. If he goes Chen Pao, I might terrestrialize there though. Um, okay, he goes into Berloon. A Corv here. Bloom can have close combat, but I'm gonna roost there. It seems like loaded dice. And I'm just gonna U-turn, because I can U-turn into Volcarona. Ooh, please get it off. Come on. There we go. There we go. Good boy, good boy. Um let me choice bandit. I can go for a speed tie. Jolly. Is it worth doing it? This is one of my guaranteed ways of knocking out the thing, Lou. He didn't terrestrialize yet, though. Actually, I don't think my Volcarona dies. But he can be choice bandit. And I want to keep Volcarona for the Brulum. Do I terrestrialize my Great Tusk? Is that a good play? Because if I win Jim Power, I also lose HP. I'm gonna go Great Tusk and I'm gonna terrestrialize and I'm gonna rapid spin, assuming he's gonna go for the ice type attack. I'm not, I'm not dying to crunch anyway, even if it's Choice Bandit, and I get the Rapid Spin it. If it is Choice Bandit, I get to see what he clicks. If it's Life Warp, then he's going to be on a timer. But I want to get rid of these Hazards so that my Champao can come in for free later on. Because um, right now it's it's going to be difficult for him. Okay, he does go for Ice Spinner. As I get off my Spin, amazing. And he decides to forfeit. And that puts us at how much? 1499. That's unfortunate. So we gotta play another one. 1499, boys. Um we have Rec Recus. <laughs> Recus, that's looking like one scary team. A really scary team. Because Annihilate is actually really annoying for me. I think the way to beat it is to wrestle in Golden Go this game. So I'm actually gonna lead up with the Great Tusk in this game. As he leads up with Annihilate. And. It's gonna be his Rucker, probably. He taunts me. Get off my knockoff. As he reveals the focus sash, I'm gonna reflect them. That knockoff did a lot of damage. I assume this is max attack or something. That way his um his final gambit is gonna do less damage to me. Because I'm still getting leftovers recovery. Iron Valiant comes in, uh, we just go into do I go full Corona here? I don't see booster energy, so it can be specs. 
We can afford to go Pex first. We don't die to Specs, I shook. Now I can go Corviknight. That's is that Psy Shock, that's spec Psy Shock damage. And I, I can go Pex once here. In case he tricks me. Awesome. I just go for Surf here. As he goes Great Tusk. Getting the Surf damage off. Amazing. And I still have Corviknight really healthy. I should be slower so I can U-turn. And he just went into this. But he tricked away my item so now I can go full Corona and click Fairy Dance. Should be faster than him so he dies. Great. I get a special attack boost too. Assuming... Oh, Chimpao doesn't kill me. He's left though. We're sold out. I think I knock him out with Giga Train. It should be a kill. Unless he's max but death, but I don't see him knocking me out in return. And I have Chen Pao to knock out his, so I'm, I'm just gonna... Well, he hasn't arrested Elijah, actually. Maybe I shouldn't make this play. I can I can I can play this slow. There must be a reason he brought it in against me, but uh, apparently not. I can just roost there as he body presses. Cool. And I can U-turn here. He body presses again. And it's time to go into Great Tusk and remove the Stealth Rock. Probably gonna knock me off, but uh, oh, went for body press. If it's flying King Gambit, I knock him off myself. Okay. Yeah, boy, make me faster than your than your champ. <laughs> Come on. Unless you're Terra Ghost, but I'm always get you're you're not you're not gonna keep up rocks versus me. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, bro. Like he just made me faster than his uh, Chempo. Oh, hold up! If he n I can still Terra this into water and uh, beat his Chenpao if I need to, so I'm gonna go Pex. Goes for Moonblast, now I can double into Volk. And I can force the Terrestrialization on this. I'm just gonna Fairy Dance. He didn't Terrestrialize this. He didn't Terrestrialize this. Do I just fairy dance on Sucker Punch? Do I Morning Sun? To get the Morning Sun off. Or when I get to it KO'd, which I, I still want to have. I'm gonna go Great Dusk here and um, I don't wanna I don't want any mind games there. Because I can still use Volcarona to beat uh, Katsuya. And I'm gonna knock off here. A knock off Specs. Hmm, not ideal. Not ideal at all. But it is manageable. Okay. 
did heal up this. I might just win with... I uh, don't want to take the damage with this. Sky Shock. Now we just go for Make It Rain. So he dies. I don't need I don't need uh Goldengo to win anymore. Against this I'm just gonna stay in. Uh, worst worst thing Okay. So he went for this. Interesting. Leftovers. Sucker punch. Hmm. Oh, it can still come down to a speed tie. I'm gonna go with this. And I'm gonna use. I'm gonna terrestrialize and click earthquake. Because I can terrestrialize too. I haven't seen any terra steel. Um, and but now this guy cannot terrestrialize, I can just earthquake. And I come out. So we win this game, putting us at 5 15 20. And I think this is a good timing to end up the video. Um I'm gonna do longer videos like these. Uh longer showdown videos once I get more views. Um right, right now I know most people are just interested in Pokemon. MMO, but I'm trying to expand my audience, guys. So um, I'm trying to keep uh, these kind of videos short, the Wi-Fi and the showdown battles. But uh, yeah, we put ourselves into 1520. Um, like a lot of people trying to reach 1500s. Seeing me doing it up here might be helpful to you guys. We put that guy back into the 1400s as well. So he should watch my videos too. Uh, he should watch my videos. <laughs> to get back into the 1500s, I'm kidding guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, guys, make sure to hit me up with one of these. Um, leave, a, leave a like is what I'm meaning. Stay subscribed to the YouTube channel. I would like to hit 4,000 subscribers. Um, something I can uh, flex as well. So <laughs> it would be really cool if you guys can help me out. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, like always, there's a poker paste in the description of the Steam if you guys are interested in playing it. And yeah, you can join our Discord server as well if you'd like to discuss Pokemon PvP, team building, strategies, etc. You name it. You can all discuss it all in the Discord server. But with that all being said though, I hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.